Okay, time to take a look at the TeamGate dual screen laptop screen extender. Okay, so it comes with a very nice carrying case. That is a very nice material on there. It's got a couple of handles. I really like that it's got a pouch so we can carry all the cables in there. We don't have to worry about losing them. And then here is the display. So we got our attachment point on the left. We got our display on the right. This is just a spring lock mechanism. So you just stretch that around your display. There's a couple of pads here on the left. You can see those are kind of curved in so it's gonna make sure that it pinches on that monitor to make sure it doesn't fall off. Then we got a flap on the top and that is also padded. And that is gonna make sure that this doesn't slide down. Nice. On the top, we got a button. So this is a push button. It's also left and right. So we're going to use that to navigate the menu. And then on the back, we got a kickstand. And what's cool about this is because one of the main reasons you don't want to put a display on a laptop is just because the hinge on the laptop is just going to make it fall down. But with this, this is going to support it. We got that little tab in there. And then when we get it to the height that we want, we just flop it down and that will hold it in place. And we got this nice rubber stopper on here to make sure that that's not going to fall backward. So that is very cool. And then on the back of the monitor, we've got three ports. These are all USB-C. They're labeled one, two, and HDMI. We got USB-C to HDMI. We also have a USB-C to USB-C. This has a nice angle on it, which is great, so we don't have to worry about that thing sticking out and messing around with where our mouse is going to be. And a USB-C to USB-A. So what's cool about that is that the USB-C to USB-C, if your laptop supports it, we can just plug this into the monitor, plug the other side into the laptop, and that will be the only cable we need to attach in order to make that work. If your laptop doesn't support that, we still got the HDMI, so we can go USB-C to HDMI on your laptop. Then we can use one of these to supply power to the display. So it's great that they give you options so you can make this thing work with whatever kind of a laptop that you got and then we got instructions and a quick start guide so i'm going to plug that into usb-c1 flop out the top and then just kind of set it on there cool there we go so that is with the kickstand it is holding itself up no problem it actually was holding itself up even without the kickstand so it's nice to know that i have that option but for a little bit extra rigidity it is great having that uh, i wonder if i could actually wrap that around the other side yeah, I can. So the cable is actually long enough I can reach the other side of the computer. With that, that'll give me a little bit more room here for a mouse. Okay, and it picked it up automatically. Now you can see we got the black bars on the side. That is because it is actually duplicating this display, which is not a 16 by 9. It is actually a 16 by 10. It's a little taller. So I am going to make that its own display. So instead of duplicate, I'm going to go extend. There we go. That's cool. So it's actually got its own speakers, so I could play the audio out of this display if I wanted to. But we can see now I've got the mouse over here, and then I can kick that over there, and I got the mouse over there. Cool! Yeah, that's awesome! So I can edit here, I can watch a video over here if I want to just like keep my mind occupied, or if I wanted to, I could put that display over here so I got more room for editing, I got a bigger image. That's just nice. It's nice that I got something that I can pack up, put inside my laptop bag with my laptop so I can portably have a two-display laptop. That's cool. That's very nice. It's a very good-looking display as well.